Welcome to the John J. Fahey Show. I'm John. I have my very special guest, my co-host, Jerry Chu. Jerry, welcome to the show once John again. John. Jerry, it's always a pleasure to see you. You know, folks, the last time that we saw you, we gave you a little info about what Jerry was going to be doing during March. And of course, Jerry, you're involved in a lot of different things. You're involved in a lot of projects, and you work in the school system. And you know, folks, I happen to be, as I mentioned to you, I happen to be in South Boston with about 750 thousand other people, as a matter of fact, all wearing green. And Jerry, it looked like Emerald City in South Boston on March 15th. I believe it was March 15th. March in parade, March. tea green. And I saw Jerry coming down one of the streets, and he had the Kenny School Elementary Band with him. And it looked pretty good, Jerry. They looked pretty good. They did a great job. And they did. Everybody in, the, everybody in the parade, pretty much, the bands were adults you know, high school kids or, or military bands, and they looked great too. It was a great parade, mm -hmm. but it was nice to see the Kenny parade, like the Kenny School represent. Thanks, so, we have three powwows here. We have an enormous amount of, of talent, if I may say that, as well. An enormous amount of Bruce talent. Willis. We have Bruce Willis. Oh, and Dan, we have Yeah, his <laughs> dad in. Yeah. We have Jim Say, who's joined us and talked yeah. to us many times on the but, program. Jim, welcome to the program. John, thank you. Alex. Jerry. So what did, what did we do last time? We had, who do we have on last time? We had a, an actor. We had an actor. Who else? We had several people on. We had a fireside film representative on. That's we right. had a young man that sat next to me. That's, that's and right. he talked. He was 13 years old and he's getting into the business. Mm -hmm. And we had Brian Ellsworth from Rhode Island right. come on. And we had a, a snip from his 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 new film coming out at the film festival and, and a lot of compliments came in on that and i know we're going to get a lot of compliments on this show too because i just feel the energy right it's here. been growing so it's long. been growing we do a lot of these different programs jerry and i do a lot of these different programs for well several reasons because we like doing it number yeah. one and cable gives us the opportunity to do it right here in the city of boston and number three hey folks if there's any other time in the history of the city in the history of the state that's welcoming to the film industry. If I may say that, Jerry, you, you agree with that, right? Mm -hmm. It's the film industry. It's pretty much the new mm -hmm. LA. Pretty much. But what's the place to watch about and learn more about the film industry? It's right here. This show. Program. And we have three powwows. We did Brad, Chuck, and Jim. And we're gonna we're gonna uh, start with my left. To my left is Jim Sayer and, and, the, and the people here at uh, Cable No Gym, and as well as many of the people that are watching us tonight. And we have a lot of young people out there watching, a lot of people in the schools, and we expect you to give us a call tonight and ask some questions about the industry that we're going to talk so much about. Hey, Jim, welcome yes, to John. Thank you. It's always nice a pleasure to see you, see you. This is the third time you've come on the show, yeah. and we always get compliments when you come on. And I, I hear that you're going to talk about something that this show used to be, the forerunner of this show, Jerry, and you helped me with this for so many years before we developed this program, was politics. And, you know, there are two things that make this world go around, folks. It's politics and money. It really is. <laughs> and, yeah, that's it. It's politics and money. I don't know, Chuck, do you kind of agree with that? No, I, I still do. Bradley, do you? I have a couple other things. Like, okay. <laughs> so Jim is going to talk a little about... <laughs> a few other um, things, too, but... The politics <laughs> behind, like everything else, the industry. To my right is a young man, Chuck Slavin. Mm -hmm. He's been in the business for a while. You're yes. an actor, and you're a filmmaker, you do all sorts of other things, too, and you're going to jump around. You're going to be telling and us And you have a nice network group thing going on we can talk about. Yeah, later. so Bradley has one as and well. And Bradley, too. Yep. And Bradley Van Dusen. Bradley Welcome. So I think these are the guys to really watch to learn more about the industry, because I think they're doing some wonderful things. You know, one, yeah, one of the things I think is, is some of like networking, too. Yeah. And uh, Chuck, I, 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 so, I so say that with you, the networking aspect. I try to network. Here. I try to keep, keep the network yeah. going. You Connections and the other actor. No, yeah, seriously. I mean, everyone knows Chuck. Chuck knows everyone. Yeah, I mean, even on other websites, they have a little more like Chuck. Yeah. Chuck Slade, the man to know. That's what I put on my website. You know what I want to do, Jerry? Can I open the, the phone banks tonight, the server? Do you think, sure. do you think we have a lot I think she can get the phone out and say it's slow ways so they can write it down. I'm going to let one of our, one of our guests to give out that number tonight. Jim, why don't you The number tonight is 617. 708-3280. And we want to hear from you because we know that you have a lot of questions tonight and would like to hear what you have to say. I'd like to ask, Jerry, where do we start? Where do we start? We can start with this guy. Okay, we'll start with Chuck Slim. Chuck, welcome to the program. All thank, you very, thank, you nice thank you. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you for uh, having me on the show. Chuck, you've been in the business for a while, and, and for people that are watching, they want to start in the business. And I hear 
that if you do something very special, Jerry and I were talking about this a little bit, and I want you to elaborate on it. You do something very special for fellow actors, and we can all say that about ourselves here. The fellow people, that your actor, your fellow actors, the people that, are, that, that want to be in the business in this area, they can all tap into something that you have. A, you play, yeah. if, I, if I may say, you play a role in it. Yeah, well, I have a, um, two things that I do. One is a network I have on Facebook. It's called New England Talent and Crew. And basically, I set it up as a forum to exchange information for uh, actors, crew people, as sort of a way to everybody meet and exchange information. And Facebook, I mean, it's a huge, powerful tool right now um, as far as networking, connecting, and, and gaining information, especially in the film industry. I mean, if it's not pertinent there, I don't know where else it would be pertinent. So um, on, on Facebook, people can sign on to the group, and then I also do what I, what I have is the Sunday brunch, which is information that's passed to me, I pass along to other actors as far as who's looking for crew, who's looking for talent, if something's going on, because I, I really believe that I think that a major thing that people need to do is to start getting active themselves and start doing stuff like, like you guys are doing. Being proactive. proactive. It sounds like an extensive networking system that you've got there. I know Jerry, Jerry's been involved. You've been involved. I, I agree. Let's do it right now. So if someone wants you, the only need to do is search Chuck Slavin as a friend. Yeah, well, you can, you can either find Chuck Slavin on Facebook. You can mm -hmm. find me on MySpace. I know more about, about what you're doing. Wherever I could be. Yeah, and, and New England Talent Crew is the group. So if you, yeah. if you were to check for a group, that will be a group to join. Mm -hmm. uh, there's other stuff out there, and that's why, like, for me personally, I try to I try to help promote as much as I can because I really believe in the in the independent spirit and the independent film community because I think that while we're waiting on the major motion pictures to come find Bruce Willis' stand-in and Andy Garcia's stand-in. I never uh, would have made that happen. I do now. I do now, Jerry. I do now. Bruce Willis yeah. and Andy Garcia. Yeah, you know, when I say, you know, with the major stars, they, they, yeah. take, uh, they take business in their own hands. Like, you see a lot of them have their own production companies. Right. You won't believe, you, you do a lot of research, how many do own their own companies and you know, they get out there and promote themselves. Well, that's, and I, I think that's a major key to it, is I yeah. think that you really have to get out there yeah, and right. start your own stuff and start making your own projects. And just like your show here, I mean, you... You tap into an audience and you and you find those people that are interested in what you have to offer. And I think you guys do a great job. And I've seen Jerry in the gym. We work out at the same gym. Run like this. And, he, and he runs like crazy. He's a, he's, yeah. a hard, he's a hard worker. But people know each other outside the business too, which is good. Now yeah. that's where networking comes in. Oh, yeah. So you're proactive behind the scenes as well as involved. And, and he is also a veteran who I'm getting uh, talent too. Right. So you know you're good at what you do. You're talented. You're, you act as well. What yeah. 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 Like um, well, I do anything I can. I mean, I've done extra work. I've done stand-in work. I, I, I'm, I'm a big proponent of just get on set. Right. And try to try to get yourself on set. And no matter what it is, if you can find a way onto set, whether you're sleeping on the floor, get on there be and then yeah, be part of it and be proactive. And um, you know, like. I, I've done my own film, and I'm starting to work on more of my own film. It's I've been a little busy lately, but I got some productions that are in the works that I'm going to be working on independently. And I did a I did a short film, Coolest Guy, which I which I produced and uh, co-wrote. I took the story by a tag, and uh, you know, just trying to help independent filmmakers. I think that if we get out there and do our own stuff, and if you have a vision, you can make yourself the hero in any story. You know, Jerry brought up the fact that a lot of Actors have their own production company and are involved in all sorts of aspects of the, of the production. But one thing that I've noticed, and Jerry, I, I think you might have noticed this as, this as well, in the last six months, seven months that we've been doing this show, dealing with the actors, that actors tend to be 